Welcome to Who's Number One, where we talk about the top 10 teams in college softball. I'm Chez. And I'm Sarah. And it's that time of year we're talking National Player of the Year. We talked about Alicia Ocasio, Lexi Elkins, and Sierra Romero last week. We're talking about three new fresh faces this week. Chez, kick us off. Now we're going to start with Ali Aguilar, a junior at the University of Washington. Leads the nation with 17 home runs this year and is second in RBIs with 52. Yeah, we were, we've been talking about Lexi Elkins and MJ Knighton from Nebraska with home runs, and then Ali Aguilar yeah, pops out of nowhere. Um, great power hitter, great numbers. And a sweet ass swing. Sweet ass swing. Megan Good from JMU, JMU's ace. Uh, she's got a 1.00 ERA, which makes her top five in the country. 19 and 2 record, but she, has, she just dropped the game to Virginia Tech. You know what? In order for JMU to earn credibility, they need to beat these unranked teams, like, that needs to be a staple. They can't be losing against a Virginia Tech. Casey Cooper's our last one we're talking about this week. She leads the nation in uh, RBIs. She's got a fresh 461 batting average. Chess, if the junior from Auburn and the junior from Washington bottom the seventh, who do you want to play? I take Casey Cooper, hands down. I think she can hit any pitcher in the nation. And she just made the USA team. I've seen her go yard on Kelly Barnhill and Sheridan Hawkins. Like, this girl can flat out hit and gets it done. So is she your pick for today? She's my pick. Who's your pick? You know what? Casey Cooper runs today. She's my pick as well. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to move on to rankings. Now, Florida has held the top spot for a very, very long time. Dream season. Historic season so far. Well, they just dropped two against Alabama. They sure did. Sarah, what do you make of that? You know what? The only teams they've lost to this season have been SEC teams. They dropped a series that nobody thought they, was, they were going to drop. We thought they were going to sweep. Some of us thought oh, they were going we, to we sweep Alabama. Um, but they're still my number one team. I'm still going. Yeah. I'm still sticking with the Gators because because they have the number one pitching staff in the yeah, country. Yeah, absolutely. And if I know anything about the World Series, it's pitching that gets you to Oklahoma City, and that's what Florida has. Now, if they can shore up things defensively and can actually get that offense going, they have no doubt that they will take the number one yeah. spot. We're not moving. Them. They're not going anywhere. Auburn State put it number two. They swept Kentucky. They look great. Yeah. Now tied with uh, Florida for the number one spot in the SEC. Yeah. Michigan, they moved up with some with some polls. They're staying put at number three for us. Um, now, Sarah, if it came down to it, if Michigan was facing off against Auburn or Florida, who do you got? I mean, Florida run ruled Michigan earlier this year, and I still think Auburn's um, hitting will beat Michigan's pitching. Yeah, and they've got some good pitching on staff too. Now, Oregon. What the heck happened to Oregon? Oregon? They dropped two games against UCLA and literally got blown out in the first game. They totally dropped out of the top five. Definitely not going to be in the top five. Alabama is going to come up and take their place because rightfully so. They, they won the series against uh, Florida and um, they deserve that, that number yeah, four Yeah, I'm just going to add, you know, from the beginning, I was kind of high up on Alabama because they have the pitching. Sydney Littlejohn and uh, Alexis Acasio are the real deal. Like, uh, Osorio, Osorio. Me, Osorio, Osorio. Uh, are the real deal. And yeah. it's pitching that's going to get them to Oklahoma City. Yeah. Stay put at number five is Raging Cajun. They have a series against Georgia State this weekend, but what we all really want to see is their series next weekend against number one Florida. I think they have to take one from Florida to stay in this conversation yeah, in the top five. 100%. LSU stays put. They took the series against Georgia. Oregon's horrendous weekend against UCLA drops them to number seven, but they are the number one offense in the country again. Yeah. So they're, they're inconsistent, but they're a top ten team for sure. Now Washington uh, stays in the number seven spot while we move Florida State into the top 10. Now we haven't put Florida State in the top 10 ever. Uh, one is just strength of schedule. Yes, they have one of the best records in the top 10, but all these teams have squared off against each other. Now Florida State has squared off against zero of these opponents. Just gotta see how they do against a really good team, but they only have four losses, so we're putting them in the top 10. Georgia drops out after dropping the, the series against LSU and the Duke Dogs. Just drop a spot to number 10. They lost that week, that week loss to Virginia Tech. They have the pitching, but my question is, is are they gonna have a strong enough offense to be able to battle against these top 10 teams? We just gotta wait to see. 
And what you want to be watching for this weekend is our flow showdown of the week. We got Oklahoma and Baylor squaring off for the battle of the Big 12. Baylor's actually sitting atop the Big 12, 5 and 0. OU's dropped a bad one to Kansas. They're three and one. Who's gonna take it? You know what? OU's got the number two offense in the nation right now with a very, very young Sooners team. And it's gonna be an interesting matchup to see the top offense against Heather Stern and the oh. Baylor Bears. And you can check out all the biggest matchups on flowsoftball.com and tell us who you think is gonna take each series.